Hey, Chaz, what's going on, man? Yo, how are you, King? Hey, man, I'm doing good. Been following you for a while. Um, I know one of the things that you're into is investing in the stock market. Um, I see you have the wall wallet AI for finance research, but is there anything that you use for like fundamental analysis um, or technical analysis for the Fed? Yeah, so I'm in charts every day, um, to be honest with you. So um, I truly believe that, you know, all of the, uh, the forms of analysis, I do think that we should still do. Um, I wouldn't trust, and, and this is the thing as well, like I wouldn't trust AI with everything that I do because there's certain times where it's inaccurate. You know, it's it's not going to always 1000% be right, but it can be accurate in a direction that it gives you. Um, but for me personally, one of the things that I've heard from, you know, an article that I've seen that they did at the University of Tennessee, I think, or something like that. I can't remember exactly which article it was from, but people are like taking articles from, you know, say like you're, you're on um, Yahoo Finance or something like that. And you take a, a, a title of an article and being able to ask ChatGPT its prediction of the day based off that article. Um, that's one way that people have been able to utilize it. I personally don't do that because I, me personally, I, I do things the the old fashioned way. Um, I've been doing it like that for the last two and a half, three years because I got invested. I started investing during COVID. Um, and that's really where I saw a lot of success. And then as time went on, I hold my I held my uh, my long term portfolio. It obviously grew. Um, but for me personally, I don't trust AI with everything. I still keep it with the basics. However, if you're looking for more tools to get more information, you can definitely ask ChatGPT to give you more, uh, you know, platforms and resources that you can utilize when you're doing your fundamental analysis. Um, and then the finance research, I mean, you can obviously still use that as well. But on top of that, really what it'll do is it'll break down your finances uh, as far as like your personal income, what's coming in, what's going out, budgeting, things like that. Um, I do believe if people want to increase the amount of money that they're making, um, they have to first realize how to keep the money that they're currently making. And a lot of times we try to skip steps. We try to like run instead of walk first. When in reality, if you just took time to say, okay, this is how you make money, but how do you keep money? Because in most cases, keeping the money is the hardest and making money is the easiest. So that's just some game for me to you, King. Um, hopefully it was uh, helpful for you. Yeah, that's 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 very helpful. If I if I may, this one's for everybody. Uh, how do you protect these creations that we use with these AIs? Um, you said how do you protect the? I'm sorry, I missed that last part. How do you how do you protect your your creations, your IP with these AIs? I mean, a lot of the times, man, like if you're going to be like trademarking things that you do and keeping it incorporated under a business, that would probably be one of the best ways to do it. Um, you know, a lot of people aren't, and, and I know EYL, they have a, a ton of different educators who talk about trademarking, but that was something that we did, um, was trademark a lot of the things that we're doing right now, and then putting things under trusts and protecting how we create certain things within our IP. Um, a lot of the times, man, like right now, what I'm realizing is people are just copying, 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 copying. So that's really the best way to go about it is the legal way. Um, but there's a tool called Brancher AI. Um, I forgot to, this is a little bit of off topic, but there's a tool called Brancher AI that I think is going to be able to help you as well. Um, but this is going to be able to help anybody. Um, you're able to create your own AI tools based off of logic and flow. So basically it, it incorporates chat GPT, but now you can create a backend portal where, you know, if somebody, you have a list of questions, they go in, they answer these questions, and then it utilizes chat GPT and, um, you know, all the different ways of uh going about that question that you put in it as the logic uh by giving them the answer in that but there's there's so many different ways bro but i would still stick to the regular ways of charting every single day if you're not charting at least an hour a day um then you know you're going to obviously um not get to the level that you really 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 want to get to and then obviously your fundamental analysis early in the mornings if you're trading um or if you're just a long-term investor really just uh being mindful of what's going on in the market and the economy Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Appreciate it.